All right, hey everyone, you got a Polycom VVX 250, which is this one, uh, maybe you have a 350 or 450, and the factory default password of 456 isn't letting you in and you need to reset the phone, so here's what you wanna do. Uh, first thing you do, get the MAC address off the back and write it down, so that's either gonna be like a serial number or something like that, it's a 12 character alphanumeric number. Write that down on a separate piece of paper, okay? And then apply power to the instrument, whether that be PoE or, you know, power adapter on the back, okay? Now, as it boots up, what you want to do is watch for the spot where the word cancel is going to appear in the corner. And there'll be like a little key underneath it. They call those soft keys. You're going to hit that soft key for cancel. And then we're going to use the MAC address as the password. Now, if you have one of the newer software versions, there's another weird thing that happens. You might want to hang on to the end or, or fast forward to the end. Okay, so you click cancel, right? And then as it begins this countdown, hold down the 1, the 3, and the 5 key simultaneously. The 1, the 3, and the 5 key simultaneously until this word pops up, enter password. Now, you need to have some patience here, and here's why. So you've got your, your, your password that you, you I mean, you've got your MAC address that you wrote down, right? You're going to enter it as the password. Now, because some things are letters and some things are numbers, you're going to have to change the mode of the keypad. So right now, see how there's a one on the left and then there's like an A and a little A? That means I'm in numeric mode. So everything I push here is going to be numbers. If I change that to where the capital A is on the left, then it means everything I push now is going to be letters. And the way that works, if you're not familiar with, with how that kind of that system works, is if you want the letter, say, letter E, then you would hit the three key twice. If you want the letter L, you would hit the five key three times. Now, what makes this even trickier is as you're entering these things in, you don't get to see what you put in. It just puts asterisks up there, so it can be really frustrating. So take your time, and unfortunately, if you get it wrong, whereas once you put the password in, you hit OK. If you get it wrong, you got to start the, the process over again. So it behooves you to, to kind of take your time. And then what will happen is it'll reboot. And then, like I said, there's this weird thing that happens again at the end where it asks for your password again. And I'll, I'll show you what to do there. All right, I got lucky and got it the first time. So it says res resetting configuration, and then it says configuration reset, and it's going to reboot. So when it reboots, it, it depending on what level of software you have, I think the cutoff was around 6.4. If, it, if it's younger, older software, meaning like less than 6.4, then it may just boot up fine and just be ready for you to enter in your provisioning information. On the other hand, if it does this thing where it asks for the old password and the new password. Um, I'm going to show you what that's about in just a second. Okay, so here's that screen I was telling you about that's kind of confusing. You've got old password, new password, and, and confirm new password. Now, the old password after you've done a reset is 456, but here's what's confusing. So you type in 456, and you would think the normal thing to do would be to hit the enter key, right? Well, it says, sorry, password too short. And you're like, huh, what they wrong? Well, after enough trial and error, what I finally figured is, you put in 456 here, because that is the old password. But then instead of hitting enter, hit the down navigation key to come to the next field. All right. Actually, you know what, hold on. I think I think because I put it in wrong, let me, let me see if it'll let me do it again. 456, then hit the down navigation key, yeah. So apparently, because I tried it once, it didn't work. So so, so you put in 456, hit the down navigation key, then put in the new password. Now, you need at least a four-digit new password. If you're out of ideas, you might try just 2580. Use anything you want, really. Um, and then, again, don't hit enter. Hit the down field, you know, the down, the down navigation to go to the next field and put in that same password again. So I was using 2580. You can use whatever you want. And then hit enter and then you should be in good shape. All right, so that's what you need to factory reset your phone, and if you have version 6.4 or higher, then it might ask for that second password. Okay, thanks for watching.